Now very interesting question in front of you, CBSC 2010 previous year question. It says if A, B, C be three vectors of magnitude 3, 4, 5 units respectively, if each of these is perpendicular to the sum of other two vectors, this central line is very important, then prove that mod of A plus B plus C is equal to 5 root 2. Let's see it step by step. This question seems a bit different from what we studied till now. It says we have A, B, C as three vectors of magnitude. So whatever information you are gaining, let's write it down. A, B, C. Done. Till here I have written. Let's move to the next line of the question. If each of these vectors is perpendicular to the sum of other two vectors, means one vector is perpendicular to the sum of other two vectors means the first case prevails the second case also prevails the third case also prevails now if the perpendicularity has been established like that what can you talk about the dot product because theta is 90 degrees so the dot product is 0 that means a vector dot vector product of with this is 0. Similarly, b vector a plus c vector is equal to 0. Similarly, c vector a plus b vector is equal to 0. Now, this is satisfied for the dot product. When this is satisfied for the dot product, the theta is 0. Can you open this up a bit? Yes, we can. So, this becomes the first thing if I write here, if I put an arrow here, a dot b. So, a vector dot b vector plus a vector dot c vector is equal to 0. Here it is a vector dot b vector plus b vector dot c vector is equal to 0. Here it is a vector dot c vector plus b vector dot c vector is equal to 0. So, if these are the three equations that I can name and if I am thinking of adding these three equations, what do I get? Definitely there are twice times a dot b vector, twice times b dot c and twice times a dot c. So, two times of a dot b plus b dot c plus a dot c is equal to 0 and 0 means 0 vector probably. This 2 can go to the other side. So, it is a vector dot b vector plus b vector dot c vector plus a vector dot c vector is equal to 0. Now, this is another equation. Let me name this as equation number 4. Now, this is regarding mod a plus b plus c. So, if I have to open this up, I know that this is a formula of whole square which is mod of a square plus b square plus c square plus twice times twice times a b plus b c plus c a in vector sign. Now, this is required. Let me write it as x square probably. a square means mod of a square which is 9 b square is 16, c square is 25, twice times this whole thing in bracket is actually 0 from equation number 4. So, what is my answer? My x is what? It is under root of this whole addition. 16 plus 9 is 25, 25 plus 25 is 50. So, root 50 is 5 under root 2. That means what was needed mod a plus b plus c is equal to 5 root 2. And where did we all gather this information? From equation 1 to equation number 4. So, this is how you have to do it. Again, I explained that this question had different vectors into picture and we accordingly solved by writing their magnitudes, establishing the dot product result and then using this whole square formula.